Hey everybody, this is Devo. Let's see, I don't want to start this off. I haven't streamed. This is my first time streaming. I've did a little bit. No. So, I've seen a lot of publicity on MMOs lately. And I've had this overwhelming feeling to play Final Fantasy XIV, honestly. It looks amazing. I mean, there is so much that I've looked on into it with job systems for an example i mean you got every class or job however you want to look at it. i mean they're both hand in hand but the way that you can be every role in the game as well as every class on top of it any given moment one character i think is an excellent excellent idea you don't have to have all these alt accounts lined up and juggle through which which one's more important or i need to do this on this one and this on my other all it's the utility of having them all under one account i think is amazing there's no i don't think i honestly could look at another mmo the same uh, it's i it's a standard i feel now that all games should pretty much follow i mean being able to play every role or class under one account uh account character is just the way it should be i, I don't ever want to change if there's other games that could do it i think that they just need to take an example from Final Fantasy XIV. It is just insane. Um, there are a few things I want to point out. I have played several MMOs over the course of, I want to say, 15, 20 years. Maybe maybe even longer. Uh, I played World of Warcraft. As, let's see. World of Warcraft? No, I would have to say Diablo 2. Diablo 2 is probably the first, but that's not really a massive MMO. You know, that's a hack and slash, but that was the first online game that I actually played. But the first MMO that I actually played and enjoyed tremendously was World of Warcraft. And to see games come out, there's tons of MMOs that come out all the time. And not a lot have piqued my interest, especially of the lately, like the late point in my life. And I'm actually looking really forward to Final Fantasy XIV because there's a lot of things that I feel are bringing, from when I was a child, looking at it as an adult now, it really it's drawing me in quite a bit. And I figured recording it is just another step in getting older and I want to share my experiences with everybody. To, to let people know how good the game really is. I've, I've, I've only played it for a short period of time just to get the ins and outs of the game. In what I've experienced so far, which is brief, very brief, um, not even that far, and not even through Realm Reborn, I'm I'm not even that far, and I've been having a blast. So I figured I'd capture my experience with everybody so that they can see, and maybe you want to get on it. I mean, the trend for lately with everything going on is, I mean, you don't have to any any major MMO player can tell you what's going on out there with World of Warcraft and other uh, MMO games. Uh, I have nothing bad towards World of Warcraft. It's just... I don't need to bash them for what they've done. They know what they've done. Um, there's a lot of changes that they've made that aren't... that have not pleased their customers. Me included. I can't... I can't... Um, contest to it recently because I've... I lost interest in World of Warcraft years ago. I mean, I'd come back to it here and there to test to see what changes were made, if there's something I like, but majority of the time, it's a lot that, a lot of negatives that I just didn't appreciate. As a lot of other streamers will say, it's 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 a waste of time. I mean, if I'm going to waste my time, I want to enjoy it. I'm, I don't want to waste my time because I'm wasting my time. It's just, it makes no sense to sit there and play a game that you sink so many years of your life into for not even excitement anymore and like i said i've played world of warcraft i didn't get the vanilla experience uh, it's a shame but i was still young i want to say i was to do the math look back in the years i'm not sure exactly i played it um when wrath of the lich king was just coming out i mean it, i i got burning crusade the free trial for purchasing the game and wrath of the lich king didn't come out yet i think i had to like five, six months before it was being released. And uh, so I didn't get to enjoy any of the Burning Crusade end game content because I was in the process of leveling my character. And 
I mean, it it happens. I was young. I didn't know the game came out. My uncle introduced me to the, me and my brother and my family in the game, and we seen him play. And I, I mean, it, the experience just you, a lot of people remember back in the day. I mean, it was it was a wow, wow, wow. I mean, you were you, it, it hooked you, and so played a little bit of Burning Crusade, and I enjoyed it. The leveling experience was great. Bit of a grind, but you were rewarded for it. You were rewarded for it completely. And got into um, War Ledger Drainer. Or not War Ledger Drainer. Sorry, jeez. That one I hated. Not that I hated I just not one of my favorite expansions. Um, Wrath of the Lich King. And I remember my brother, my dad, and the rest of my family... We were all playing. I mean, we were doing raiding, got into end game content, and we enjoyed it as a family. It was pretty incredible. I mean, we got to spend time playing a video game. How many people can sit there and have a family? Your mom, your dad, your brother. Our sisters occasionally would play it, but they didn't get too much into the end game stuff like uh, my brother and mom and dad did. And uh, we enjoyed it. I mean, we had a blast. The, the, the challenges of doing raids. Not only in a group of random people, I mean, or not random, but random in the world, guild members, but working amongst yourself as a family to accomplish defeating a boss was incredible. I mean, I remember doing ICC with my family and we would have a hard time. I mean, learning the mechanics and this, meanwhile, this was like our first real MMO, like our completely first MMO. So we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. We had no idea what, the, what raids were dungeons i mean we this was our first time going through because like i said in burning crusade we played it in burning crusade but it was towards the end we were still in the process of leveling and we didn't understand what the end game content had for us my uncle would be always like yeah you gotta wait till you get to higher level get to the end game get to the end game and so you know we played it as a family and we finally got to the end game and it was incredible incredible uh but after life the lich king kind of lost i lost my interest in it Cataclysm wasn't too bad. I mean, the massive overhaul, the change that they did with the skill system, the talent trees, was a big, big uh, letdown for me. I enjoyed the talent tree so much. The customization between being a good player and an intermediate player. I mean, you you had to read. You had to look it up. You needed to know what you were doing for what role you were playing. It was very important. And spending your skill points and your talent trees it was, it was crucial. It was so important that you, it, it could change the outcome of your play style tremendously if you didn't understand how to read the talent tree. So I played Cataclysm for a little while, and now I slowly lost my interest. I ended up stop. I stopped playing for a few years, and I don't. What did I come back? Mists. I think I came back and missed the Pandaria, and that, missed the Pandaria was. I don't want to bash it. It was putting aside my old dis excuse me, dislikes for the game with the whole talent tree. The talent tree was gone, and that was something we had to accept. And I got into Mr. Pandaria. And Mr. Pandaria was it was halfway decent. I mean it I don't wanna it wasn't terrible, the whole panda idea coming in. Oh, I thought it was coming from Panda, but <laughs> I mean I'm pretty sure a lot of people did. And uh I enjoyed it. I did. I can't say I didn't. Like I said, I enjoyed Cataclysm all the time. I did play it. And it was good. And then I remember Warlord of Draenor. Warlord of Draenor was... Between the garrisons and... Oh, uh, it was just a... It was a nightmare. I, I I didn't enjoy it. It just felt more of a grind than anything to me. I mean, I don't mind a grind. I really I don't mind the grind. But to be rewarded at the same time, I mean... It was just not my favorite expansion. If I had to label, it's probably by far my worst ex like expansion for World of Warcraft. And I didn't really, I didn't, I want to say I played it with Leech for a few months and I just didn't want to get into it. And they brought Legion out. Legion, I played quite a bit of Legion. I did really, really enjoy Legion. I felt like they're... They started listening to the player base a lot more of what they wanted. I'm not saying 100%, but it drew in a lot more players. It was a better experience for me personally. I don't know if it was for you guys. You could let me know down in the comment section. Um, what was your favorite expansion? Um, obviously, everybody's going to say, you know, vanilla, 
Wrath of the Lich King, Burning Crusade. We all know that. I mean, modern expansions. What was your guys' best? Exp uh, your favorite expansion? Uh, I'd have to say Legion was mine. I enjoyed the whole artifact weapon concept of the game. I mean, it was definitely different. I would definitely agree. It was definitely different. It had a different twist on the game that I did not anticipate. and But I actually did really enjoy it. Um, but after that, I didn't just gave up. I mean, I was coming in and out, back and forth, bit by bit, and I just didn't care for it. It just wasn't what I was interested in anymore. And, like, growing up when I was younger and the experience I had with my family, it just it wasn't the same. And my family ended up quitting before I did. And I remember my brother put a lot of time, a lot of time. He'd be grinding for mounts more than me. I mean, mounts were great, but he he was a hard, he was hard, he worked hard at it. And uh, after Legion, I just, I lost complete interest and I haven't had that sense of excitement from another game in a long time. I mean, I've tried tons of different MMOs over the year. I mean, to all kinds, I've played, uh, what I'll say, like, what other ones have I tried? There was like Rift, Guild Wars 2, and I'm not, they're not bad games. I'm not saying they're bad games whatsoever. They're decent in their own ways. It's just not what I was personally looking for. And it just didn't... It didn't give me that wow factor. Not like World of Warcraft, but that wow, like... This is really, really good. This is what I'm into, kind of feel. So... I've looked for years and years and years. Over the years, playing, testing different ones. I went to sandbox-style games like Conan Exiles, to Ark. And, I mean, they're good games, but it didn't fill that MMO void. Playing with other people, the teamwork you need to put in. For raiding or trials, I played ESO, Elder Scrolls Online. Phenomenal. I did love ESO. I gotta admit, I did. I did. Um, just still didn't fully fit everything that I was looking for in a game. It is ESO is a phenomenal game. It is. And over the years, I just I, I've lost interest. Like I said, my family lost all their interest in games, so it kind of had a big factor. And I mean, not being able to play with other people. So, being playing by an MMO by yourself without having your family, I mean, you can be friends, of course, of course. And I've met tons of people playing MMOs. But after I seen Final Fantasy XIV with their whole Calamity incident and remaking the game, I mean, I've been a diehard Final Fantasy fan for since I was PS1. First one I ever played was Final Fantasy VII. I fell in love. Final Fantasy VII was one of my all-time favorite games. Probably still is. It was just something that the nostalgia of me when I was younger, I enjoyed it so much. And seeing this brought back so many memories between that, having one of my favorite Final Fantasy games introduced as a, like, not just, let me hear me out, not just Final Fantasy VII, all Final Fantasy franchise. I've played Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, what was that? Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy X, Love X. I think it was 12 I played. And I played, I think it's called 15. I can't remember. Actually, I think I have it right. Console. Yeah, 15. And I, I beat them. I mean, I enjoyed it. I really did. They, they, they were good. But my all-time favorite would have to be, um... Final Fantasy 7. All-time favorite. The characters to the story, it was it was mine. It was my my Final Fantasy. It's the one I preferred of all above all others. If I had to do a close second, I'd have to say Final Fantasy 10 for me. I know everybody's got their own personal experience. I never got a chance, like I said, I'm not older. I didn't get the chance to play a lot of the one, two, three. I mean, I of course I can. Uh I'm just with a new era of all the graphics, it's just hard to play older style graphic games nowadays and have it not be an eyesore so with that all said out of the way i know it was a long intro it's my first video stream and i figured i wanted to give everybody a full explanation who i am where i've been in the end uh, mmo industry and figured i'd share my experiences with you guys with final fantasy 14. it i'm looking forward to it so i'm gonna stop introducing myself and we're gonna get right into this so you guys can all see like i said FF7, without a doubt, one of my favorites. I went and pre-made my character and figured to save this time because I knew I was going to be doing a semi-long intro. 
you can all probably reference it looks like cloud <laughs> yeah final fantasy 7 the heart so i tried to find a character with a beard and i do there's not like i can show there's not uh i don't need to show you guys i mean you can look up other videos there's not a lot of great beard options so i did the next best thing i can think of and just picked one of my all-time favorite final fantasy characters and try to simulate what they look like with the hairstyle you can get so i'm gonna just go with that we're gonna get right into this like i said i didn't play a lot i'm definitely still in realm reborn i think the farthest i did when i was just playing at first before i wanted to start recording and capture my adventure and share it with you guys was getting my chocobo i believe that's as far as i got i mean i may be a little bit after that but not much so it's not like i've actually done a whole lot so I'm going to get right into it. So we're going to confirm our character. I don't need to save the uh, appearance. First Astral Moon. 28th. I don't think these really matter too much. Alright, now... Hmm, I'm not sure which one I want to go with. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be able to get them all anyways, which is, I think, it's amazing to be able to have them all classes or jobs is what they're related to in this i think is just amazing i think i'm just gonna stick with the gladiator i love tank roll i know gladiator i believe marauder is um let's see conjures a healer we're gonna go with the gladiator and i think i'm gonna start tanking uh-huh let's see siren I want, I want to pick up. Stick with the one. Can I not click it? How come? I've noticed that though. The servers are getting quite crowded. The game has received a lot. A uh, um, flow to the game like what's going on straight okay Evo Morningstar why not Evo Morningstar than them yet. Evo Morningstar. Let's see if we can get in. Yes, I. New character cannot be made on this world. It's time. It's full. Might take a second. I'll edit this out. Alright, that took a little while to get in. Uh, I had to switch to a different world server. Some of the servers are quite full. insane this galaxy oh my god looks so sick yeah but if you guys have a hard time getting in so you got to understand that Final Fantasy 14 has got a massive uh, amount of people trying to get on at one time I don't think Square Enix realized the potential of how many people I believe I read an article Oh, a couple days ago uh, how many people they ended up selling out on digital copies because of so many people trying to get out of the game right now I believe it's a lot of the conflict between the world of Warcraft the hate for it right now and everybody's trying to boost up like what's better Final Fantasy or World of Warcraft I'm gonna try not to talk through the cutscene so much I haven't chose the gladiator class. That is sick. Oh, I want that gear so bad. 
It's like a valley. Oh, I see a tank. That's what I picture right there. Yeah. That was a nasty cussing. Sick. <laughs> I'm just going to skip through the dialogue. I know the story is very, very important, but if I end up reading all the dialogue, you guys are going to be watching me read dialogue and actually playing. And anyways, that gives me more time to interact with you guys. Get your guys' inputs. Certain aspects of the game. Give me some pointers and tips on what will help me out. If I'm constantly sitting there reading dialogue. Alright, I'm just going to skip the cut. Well, I won't, I, won't, I won't skip the cutscene part. I just won't read the dialogue. Just to speed it up a little bit. I'll end up reading the story on my own. I play by myself. I just don't feel like it's fair to you guys if I'm constantly just reading dialogue the whole time. Oh. <laughs> Out of your britches, man. They're so nasty looking. Oh, that's sick. Wow. They don't even stand a chance. No way. Those guys are beasts. Whoa. I mean, I might skip some of the little mini dialogue cuts, cut scenes, but like I said, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to want to be play. You're not going to want to see me sitting here. It's not like I want to read a book. Like I said, I'll end up reading the story on my own time. I mean, that carriage is sick. It's incredible. The amount of effort that Square Enix put into this game is just insane. I mean, they they, they outdid themselves for sure. There's no doubt about it. Deep in the sun-baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance, her name. Uldah. Uldah. Gem of the city. Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era, hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nald Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. Yeah, I think this first video is longer. I had to get introduction out, off to the side, get that out of the way. I'll try to keep them shorter for people. But that's up to you guys. You guys let me know in the comment section. Do you guys prefer longer videos? Or would you like May to keep the them, have me keep them short? Our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. Oh. That guy looks awesome. And that's pretty cool. They make you look really nice right in the beginning of the game. And this city is just insane. I mean, look at this.
to capture the atmosphere. Feels like a real living, breathing city. Chocobo! Can't wait to get my chocobo. I wonder if you can get different colored ones. I think that'd be really cool. I'd probably get a green one. That's my favorite color. Guy kind of reminds me of Aaron from uh, Final Fantasy X. Keyboard of Mouse. All right, let's get this adventure going. Got everything. Let's go. Accept the quest. Like I said, I'm not gonna read the dialogue. Just it's gonna take away a lot of the playtime. with the gladiator class and see how this I believe the gladiator becomes a paladin I mean, the marauder becomes a warrior I believe yeah I'll just skip the dot get more play time Oh yeah, I gotta remember to put uh what is it? The um necklace no not necklace earrings. I should probably do that right now. Or, oh yeah, that's right. Because if you pre-order Endwalker, you get oh not that door. You get a pair of earrings that give you 30% more experience, I believe. I could be mistaken. Go that way, yeah. Gotta grab the quest first. I probably will buy. My bad. Yeah, I'm curious. What guy? What is your guys' uh, preference on jobs? What do you guys go with? Let me know down in the comment section. What, what what classes do you think are really? Skip that. There we go. I'm gonna have to re change this whole UI up. Not bad. I just wanna tidy it up a little bit. Yeah, definitely know let me know what jobs you guys picked. Which one's your favorite? soundtrack it's just me i don't know i mean it's really good soundtrack nice sound music should be able to get my earrings yep right here what was it 30 percent yep 30 percent extra experience go 30 percent more experience that's gonna help level a little bit quicker hmm wind up old oh, minions okay that's cool wonder how many you can actually get in total
I want to know how many uh, actual tank role classes or jobs there are. I know of the Paladin. I believe the Dark Knight. The Marauder, which I believe turns into a warrior. That's a tank. Now, I want to say, was it the Gunbreaker? They're, they're pretty good. I want to try one of them. Trying to get all this beginning stuff out of the way. So many people. Look at this. It's insane. It's awesome, actually. It's really, really good. The more the merrier, I mean. You always gotta have people to play with. Gotta remember to get these crystals. Be able to travel around quicker. I'm actually really excited to get into the dungeons and end game content. I just can't wait. I wonder, I wonder how the primals, I know they're primals, they're called um, what, Aeons and Summons. I believe those are, I think, trials or raids or something you get to fight. Like Shiva and all of them. I'm actually really excited for this. It's going to be awesome. And it's just quest up. That's one place down. Oh, that's two. I got the I got the crystal. Okay, that's right. Now I gotta go to the champion or the not the champions, gladiator guild. And that, that that's the part I gotta get used to. Uh, each job or class has their own guild hall, and there's quests that level up that class. If I'm not mistaken. That loss. Let's see. actually I click over here, which really neat feature. I think, yeah, that's why. These places are so big; easily get lost. Crystal here, might as well grab it while we're here. I got a checklist of cer certain things that I know have to be. Like, main story quest is a must. Need to do main story quest. Not forgetting to do your job, or they call them jobs, your class quest line, because if you don't do those quest lines, you can't. You, you got to do your class quest lines. If you don't do your class quest lines, you won't be able to get your job to further game progression your class. All right, another crystal. Down there. No, it's one up here. Yeah, what is your guys' favorite starting zone? Well, da, Gridia, uh, Gridian, I think you pronounce it. Gridian, Gridia. And what was the third one? Uh, Lomus, Lumus, I can't pronounce. I'm going to butcher some of the names and places in this they're tough to pronounce i think it's like loma loma loomis something like that and what, what i'm not sure what predetermines what starting zone you start in is it like race based maybe somebody can let me know 
because I'm glad I'm definitely willing to t any trip uh, any tips or pointers for sure I mean I'm not definitely new to the game like I said I played a little bit of it but not not, not too kind of stuck with a conjurer and kind of messed up a little bit there were certain things I was supposed to do that were more important than other things and Where I can get your guys' help would be good. Alright, I did that. And I need to report to. Okay. Now that I got the crystals, I should be able to. Not adventure. Yeah, adventure is good. I was thinking I was going to the Gladiator Guild. I was already there. Yeah, you might have difficulty getting on. They got queue times. I mean, the it's getting it's got a lot of population going through. People are it's crazy how fast the game blew up. I'm actually pumped for it. Like the, the more people, I mean, there's going to be endless amounts of groups for content for sure. Talk to her? Let's see. There we go. What? Unlocked? This quest is not available yet. Oh, job. Okay, level four. What? That didn't do that to me the first time. I was a bit lost. First time. Gladiator Guild. Yeah, I think I'm going to have one of each role. I want to tank a DPS and a heal. Thinking of a Black Mage. I think that'd be pretty, pretty cool. And the concept of having all these, like, guilds in an area, it, it baffles me. Like, it kind of brings back the old World of Warcraft training system where you used to, like, not quite the same. Where you would, like, be your class trainer. And I, oh, I talked to this person. It, like I said, it brings, it feels like it's that class chamber way, way more in depth. Like, they really perfected it. It wasn't like just, go we'll talk to this person and learn your skills. To have a whole bus system attached to it is, it's great. It's insane. Like, you can do so much with it. It could actually fully background story. And some of these new classes, I'm really pre-ordering Endwalker. The new... Oh, it's like Grim Reaper Reaper uh, class that's come on our job. I'm actually looking really forward to that one. I think that's really, really cool. I mean, it's endless possibilities. I mean, you get bored of playing a pally. Go to a bl uh, Black Knight, or what is it? A Black Mage. You get bored of Black Mage, go to a Dark Knight. You get bored of a Dark Knight, go to, uh, what is that, the Dancer? Our Dancer's really, really good. Having the replay replayability of a game like that is, to me, that that's my thing. The more that, that they give you as a player to do, just that those are the kind of games I'm looking. For. Get to go to. <clears throat> it's being locked in with tons of alts. It, I'm not I'm not big on the whole alt system where you gotta have multiple characters. And I wonder how the professions work. Like, not professions, but that's what I'm used to calling them. Like, your skills, like, uh, what, like, 
I, I, I haven't done any of them. It's like culinary, I think, was one of them. Mining. I think you can look at it in the character screen. Oh, where is it? Our inventory, currency. It's right under here. Jobs. Okay, yeah, yeah, right here. We got carpenter, blacksmith, armor, goldsmith, leather worker, weaver, alchemist, culinary. See, these are all. I gotta look into this. Maybe somebody can give me some feedback. Now, these are actual skills, but these are like gathering abilities, like mining, botanist, fishing. Like, is there any more that would go with these, or is the, those the only three gathering skills you get? Or do you unlock more later on? That would be neat. All right, let's see where we gotta go. Get out here, that's okay. Get the mic. I need to slay three of each, okay. Even the combat system feels so smooth. It's not clunky or flippy or anything like that. It feels, it just feels good. I'm gonna kill some hornets. I have men to this is a new area. Gridian or Gridia. I've been there. I do like that place. That place, like I said, it the forest. I like that zone. Gotta be over here. I see a red circle. Yep. Yeah, let me know what, what area you guys like. I mean there I know there's probably more areas than just the three starting zones. Probably strifing and moving too much. There's probably no need for it. I'm just excited. Is that it? Yeah. I don't know, it's just me. The loading screens seem a little bit. They're not too bad, but. Could be because the servers are packed. Champ uh, Gladiator Guild.
think I'm gonna end this video after this quest. It's gotten to it's a bit long of a uh, video already. I don't want to make them too long for you guys. Hunting logs, I do remember good experience from that. Alright, so I'm going to end this one right here, guys. If you guys like the video, please hit the like button. I mean, I'll be doing more content like this. And if you guys enjoy it and you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.